Okay, namaste. I see there's a few questions that have come up in the course of some um, emails, etc., uh, postings. And so somebody was saying, and I, I'm, you know, not understanding exactly the whole question, but I'll, I'll see if I can, you know, pull as much as I can out of what they're trying to ask. It says, can anyone help point me to things Swamiji may have said about the role of Swami, what it signifies and what its functional role is in its true and pure form? Uh, I'm also interested in the Jnani principle. These questions relate to a real relationship I have experienced and want to understand in a better context. Well, I don't understand what's being asked about a Jnani principle. I have no idea what's being asked with that. But as far as the other, what is Swami? Uh, Swami is Sanskrit, it means basically master. One has taken renunciation, a Swami is a renunciate, um, and the, basically means to master one's own existence, to master the path, to master oneself, okay? So you will have become a renunciate uh, in some type of an order, in some type of a tradition. And uh, usually most swamis are celibate. There might be some that are not, uh, depending on what the tradition is. But it means Lord. It means uh, it can also be sometimes a sign of respect for renunciants. They call them swamis. Um, you know, recognizing they, they are trying to master themselves and that perhaps they have some sort of wisdom to impart somewhere. Uh, basically, that's where uh, Swami comes from. It can also be in relationship to someone that is teaching uh, in the spiritual, you know, spiritual things. Also, sometimes they are called Swami out of uh, respect. So that's the basic nutshell version of what a Swami is and what that signifies. And the, the role, again, is uh, mainly uh, being renunciate and working on, you know, being 100% dedicated uh, to the path, to, to your renunciation, and to mastering your drama you know, to go beyond it, uh, again, you know, master of oneself, not trying to be a master over others. First, you have to master yourself, <laughs> you know, before you're trying to lord it over others. So that's not what it means. It doesn't mean that master that, you know, that, um, that you're trying to roll over other people. It means that you are mastering your own, you know, so that's that's what it is. Just like, you know, a Siddha. A Siddha master is one that has gone beyond the cities, one that has gone beyond those types of things. It's no longer caught by those types of attainments. One would think sometimes that a Siddha master is one that has you know, gathered up all these cities and using all these city powers. But actually, it's, it's something different than that. It's one that's gone beyond it, that no longer engages in that, that has gone, um, you know, beyond city powers. It's no longer trapped by their influence, etc. cetera. Uh, okay, this brings us up to another um, thing that was being spoken about on one of the sites today and that's about you know having all these dreams and you know they may be very real and uh, one engages in them same thing you can have a lot of experiences that come up but they're nothing more than other dream states they're all taking place in duality these are not the things we strive for now you know you see some teachers out there, some um, 
some ones that are pursuing their path and they may write books about, oh, I've seen Shiva and all these things, you know, and the city power has come and I've had this experience and that experience. Well, you know, again, that's one that's still in the midst of the journey. Uh, a lot of people want to gravitate to those and the more outlandish they are, the more they think they've progressed, etc. But uh, it, it's not something that you want to get trapped in. Yes, some of the things can be beneficial, they can be pointers along the way, but you never take dream things and then run your life around it, you know. Um, so uh, again, it, it's not, if you get caught in that, the ego can once again create a lot of things. The mind is very creative. You know, uh, once these things start, if your mind has attention on something, it's going to create more and more and more of the same of it. You know, this is how city powers develop, etc. But in the end, they're empty of value. So this is not where you want to get trapped. They can be big stumbling blocks along the way as well. So, you know, people that have these things, you know, there are a lot of them that said, well, I, I was told to be a guru in a dream. You know, this was Muktananda's thing. He said, well, you know, that uh, Nichinanda, his, his guru, Nichinanda, not the Nichinanda now, but the original Nichinanda was Muktananda's guru. And he said, well, you know, he came to me a dream and told me to be a guru. And, well, Nichinanda, when he passed, uh, excuse me, Sinananda, can you get that? Thank you. When Nichinanda passed, I had met somebody that's father was actually with Nichinanda when he passed. And he said at that point he, he voluntarily had left the body. He le voluntarily left the body because he said, I have not one true student. I have not one true devotee. He did not uphold Muktananda for being a guru. This was, you know, in Muktananda's vision, dream, but again, it didn't hold water. It was not something that uh, Nichinanda would uphold. He told Muktananda, go away, go, go, <laughs> go sit by yourself and, and, you know, let Kundalini do its job. But again, these things that happen in dreams, they're very, uh, you know, puffed up for ego. Ego loves it. But again, it's not something that is um, beneficial to get caught up in. It's, it's more of that illusory type of thing. This is not to say that uh, things can't come up in dreams which are some sort of pointers that shed light on some things that does happen, but it's not a uh, valid um, way to, to continue your journey based on that, okay? So I will leave it at that. So I hope that answers some of these questions. Sorry about the barking. Somebody came over and Raj thinks he's doing his duty. <laughs> So I hope that's answered uh, a couple of your questions. Namaste. Raj. <laughs> Rajmont. <Shh. laughs>